Hey y'all, it's me again, Intuitive Queen Shar, back with a third message today. <sighs> I'll tell you all very seriously, being gifted intuitively is draining. I'm in the kitchen cooking my chicken breast for tomorrow's lunch, Lord willing, I wake up. And I'm feeling just this depressed, sad, it's finally over energy from somebody's person. At least 24 of you all. I saw 24, okay? Um, somebody's person may be getting a divorce because I was sitting on the sofa and I saw a vision. I, I don't know if it was a man with smaller hands or if it was a female. But the hands were not that big and they took the wedding ring off and dropped it in a drink. It was a uh, uh, like ginger ale colored drink. It could have been ginger ale. I don't drink, so I don't know, like a light brown liquor. And they dropped it. And they felt like a failure. Like, damn, this is this is marriage number four. Let's just use an example. And it's over. Um, I'm gonna have to pay all this money. Out. And and they've lost you on top of that. So it's a lot of emotions going on right now. And when I pulled these cards at the top, I, I, these cards confirmed it. I'm going to read those last, but I heard the initials JB, J like Jerry, B like Bob. And then I actually heard Jerry, uh, Isaiah, uh, Yolanda with a Y. Something like Ikira, I-K-I-R-A, Ikira. I do not know. I just heard Ikira. Okay, Tanya. Last name could be, or last name, there is a last name, Gaither, G-A-I-T-H-E-R, and I see Jim. Okay, J-I-M. All right, y'all, so I'm going to read. So, so we already know some of y'all have left your past person alone, and they're feeling depressed today. They've lost you, and they've lost uh, higher, level commit, higher level commitment. You were the topic of many conversations, and I kept hearing when I was putting my Italian seasoning on my chicken while ago, I kept hearing a male tell a female, but she's not my type, but she's not my type. You and this karmic look completely different, and she's very insecure. And this 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 masculine is trying to protect you, to be honest, because, excuse me, the bitch is crazy. I know that's what you really like. You ain't want me for nothing but my money, or you was just using me. And I know you really like Queen Shaw subscribe, but that's who you really like. And this person's trying to protect you. That's not my type. That's my That's not my type. Let's use, I don't know, let's use me for an example. Let's just say the karmic is... Um, just the opposite of me, just, we look, we're like night and day and, and he's trying to convince her to keep the heat off of me, which baby, you ain't got to do shit. Cause I can protect myself and you too. Don't play with me. I ain't, I ain't got no chicken in my blood. Let a chick come up to me talking about my man. She gonna find her ass at the, 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 the corner. I'm gonna knock her all the way down the street. Don't play with me. Hey, t-shirt girl, whatever problems you and a man had before I came along, you better stand on that. Don't blame me because I job fixed myself up because what I really want to fix myself up, uh, I'm not going to start. I'm, I'm going to behave like a Catholic school girl, but I'm feeling some, some SHIT going on. That's not my type. That's not my type. That's not my type. And he cannot convince this woman that you not his type. She done found something in the phone, some messages or something. My whole thing is, if, if somebody don't want you, let them go. Why are you holding on, stupid ass? A man got one time, one good time, while he's in his same mind to let me know he don't want me no more. He ain't got to worry about my little round face around him no more. That's all you got to do is let me know you don't want me. Just, you you ain't even got to come out and say it. Your actions will prove it. I don't like how women and some men take it out on a new person because their person don't want them no more. If you got them wrong, if you use witchcraft or manipulation or you got pregnant on purpose, that's not love. Somebody got to love you. I would rather be loved even if I'm not under the same roof with my person, I would rather have their heart than have them physically with me and they don't even want to look at me. When I walk by, they turn their head, they feel disgust. 
They see every role, dimple, flaw, character personality flaw, money, bad spending habits. They see everything and they wonder, how did I get in the middle of this mess? Okay, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. I got in my feelings for a minute because I know, I know what I'm talking about. Somebody is saying that's not my type to, to protect you. But you uh, look, y'all protected anyway. When people start getting under my wing, they're covered by some of my protection. Uh, quiet as it's kept. Look it up. Protected people, gifted people who are really protected, our, our protection spreads on to the ones close to us. You'd be surprised how many accidents you can avoid by being around the right person. Good karma is contagious. Don't get me started about the people who done told me, girl, ever since I met you, everything I touched turns to go because you did right by me. You did right by me. And the ones who did wrong by me, oh, baby, they wish they had not. Okay? So I'm going to give you a few messages from this person who's saying you're not their type and they're lying. You are, you just their type. They can't believe they got you. They can't believe, they, they, they're they scratching their heads saying, okay, when does, you know, when does the person jump out the bushes and say, ha ha, I got you. Because I know damn well I don't have this beautiful, handsome, smart, funny, intelligent, well-traveled, well-spoken person. But they do. God handed us to some of these people. They better wake up because like I told you earlier, their, their replacement is already at the door. Matter of fact, you can almost hear them knocking at the door. They better hurry up like right now. Okay. But let's, let's, I'm going to be nice and I'm going to read a few messages from them. I just thought a little spread on my bed. I didn't, I didn't want to do nothing like setting up the Vitero. Did y'all see the picture of me and Vitero this morning? I, I tell you this much, I laugh and joke, but that was one of the best men I've ever had. When you get older and you, all the, the big ding ling and the great sex and the big booty and the big boobs and, 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 and raining money, all of that doesn't matter when you get older. You want somebody you can depend on. I could depend on that guy. He never cheated on me, y'all. I was heavy. Y'all saw me. I was heavy back then. Not as, I hadn't hit 550 yet, but I was four. I was a good four. Hey, Treachers, what you doing, son? Look at Treachers up to something. Um, <clears throat> he, he, he was enamored by me. Is that a word? He thought I was just the best thing. He, That man provided, not just for me. I didn't even have to work if I didn't want to. He would just give me his check. I, and I wasn't in it for money, but he loved me. And he wanted me to have what I needed. He would buy my niece and nephew diapers. They were two at the time. He would get their little diapers, their little pull-ups. He would get their fireworks for 4th of July. He kept my gas tank full. He kept money in my pocket. He came home one time every day, took a bath in the real tub, went to work every day. I would meet him after work, come to his job anytime. He was never up on no other bitch. When you get older, that's what you're looking for. I didn't appreciate him back then, but I'll be, let me tell you something. Men like that, when you're in your 50s, that's, a, that's, that's, that's like the lottery ticket, a winning lottery ticket. Because there's a lot of old hoes out here. It's a lot of men who still going to get it on as long as they can get up. And that turns me off. Keep it in your pants. You a damn grandfather. What you still doing screwing around? You ain't had enough yet? That turns me off. That will make me leave a man. If you, if I'm not enough for you, then you go ahead on and be with them other harlots and heathens. <laughs> okay? All right, let's get to these messages. No kidding. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna breeze through them because I gotta go turn my chicken over. <laughs> My chicken breast tenderloins, you get five of them daggone things for like $10. But they ain't got no fat in them, so I'm trying. They can't stop thinking about you. I wish things could be different. Yeah, they they want to get, some of them want to get back with you. Y'all already know the spiel. This ain't everybody's reading. Blah, 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 blah. If it applies to you, it applies to you. If it doesn't, it's somebody else's message for sure. At least 24 of us. I saw 24. Okay. Red-haired red -haired female. Uh, Caucasian or black. Now, now, my red is a wig. Y'all know that, right? 
Okay, just just letting you know. But I see a red-haired female. Name could be Ann. Okay, A N N E. All right. Uh, I bury myself in work to forget you. This person's trying to get a lot of overtime. They're calling in. Hey, if you got any extra hours, I'll take them. If they if they keep busy, they 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 won't think about losing you as much. I feel like crying for this person right now because I feel their tears welling up. I tell you, when you're gifted, you don't belong to yourself anymore. God gave you a gift, so you're on call 24 hours. That's why sometimes I do readings in the middle of the night. I have messages to get out. Y'all appreciate me while I'm still living because I'm one of the very few people who will stop what she's doing and give you a message. And I don't mind. I'm doing God's work. I know I got a little smart mouth sometimes, but it, <clears throat> please don't get me started. And they said, this this is the one to touch me. Oh, God. You came closer than anyone. Basically, you're their favorite. Y'all, a lot of these masculines have had things happen to them when they were younger. And they're still scarred. Do you understand what I'm saying? Some of them were touched. And I, I'm really in my feelings. Some of them were touched inappropriately men by uncles cousins classmates and they carry a lot of pain and they act the way they do because they never addressed the issue now i'll tell y'all i've told people when i was 10 i was touched inappropriately no, no penetration but creatures what the what is you doing son why are you messing up my my spread son uh, again, all jokes aside, when I was 10, I was touched inappropriately. Nothing nothing shameful. I talked about it in my little book I wrote on Amazon about why I started overeating. And uh, right after it happened, and it was so hard to tell my mom. I'm, I'm, I'm pouring my soul out to y'all tonight. And I'm not the only one. It's a lot of us where people that our family trusted done something to us they shouldn't have done. And I could not get it out and tell my mom. She she noticed a change in me. She said, did, did, I won't say the person's name. Did blah, blah, blah do something to you or touch you? This was a friend since second grade. So we considered him family. Come to find out he was a damn child pervert. Okay? He died, though. He died. And I didn't tell anybody until I told my brother when I was about to have a major eye surgery, I was 39. So it took me 29 years to get it out. And I said, Tony, if I don't wake up, I want you to know, blah, 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 touch me when I was 10. I'd never seen my brother get so furious. Um, and I'm just telling you all, I'm not making excuses for your person, but some of them are emotionally and physically scarred. And they're, they feel like they're too macho to talk about it. And that's why they act the way they act. So we, we got to, you just can't cut a person's throat till you know the whole story. Okay? <laughs> Treachers. Why you got to be in every vitro? Huh? I love that boy. Okay, and the last card on this row said, I'm, I, and I'm just bearing my soul with you all, okay? I ain't got no shame. I didn't do anything wrong, but it made me overeat. I was trying to seek comfort, and I ate, and I ate, and I ate. I would sit in school, and I would write lists of junk I would junk I would buy after school. I would write my list. I'm, I'm talking real talk to y'all tonight. I would, if I had a dollar, I would write down corn chips, fifteen cent, Snickers, twenty five cents, Duplex cookies, thirty five cent, and I would add up all of my junk. What do you? I'm trying to tell a serious story. <sighs> Hello? Yo, you sitting on mama cards. I'm going to move you when I get to that last card. But y'all, uh, this is me being real. I, I ate at something that should not have happened to me, okay? So your person may be dealing with some childhood trauma. That's all I'm trying to say. And it's okay to talk about it. There's no better feeling than letting it out. Get it off your shoulder. A lot of people, male and female, 
have been violated. Okay? And that's me keeping it real with y'all. All right? Did I read the last card before Treacher's got in the way? Okay? You were one of the best things in my life. You were one of the best things in my life. And you came closer than anyone. I'm trying not to laugh at Tree, too. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This is my regular life. This, 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 this Charmaine at home, okay? It's me and Arthur. We ain't got nobody but each other. Look at this little badass. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, let me let me make light of this situation because I'll get to crying in a minute. Up here, there have what I tell y'all. I told you they was feeling depressed tonight. Painful memories. They're having some painful memories because y'all have cut them off. You, you, I don't know what's going on. Something about this weekend, they feel like it's over. Would you move? They feel like it's completely over and done with. I saw somebody take a wedding ring off and they dropped it in a glass of a drink or ginger ale, okay? And they still have sexual desire with you. They want to do it one more time. They said, if I could just hit it one more time, I'll get them back. If you don't get your damn hands off of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Okay? All right. And they said emotion. What I tell y'all? Emotions overwhelm me. Somebody's in their feelings tonight. Feelings. Whoa. Feelings. However the song go. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Their emotions are overwhelming them, and I smell my chicken, so I got to get off of here. Okay? Um, And they said it's all too much. These emotions are all too much. <sighs> Look at me. Got to move my own damn card because of you. And the last card says, oh, hell. I want out. They can't take it no more. If you touch me one more time, I'm putting you back on Craigslist. Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> they want out of this karmic situation. They were fighting with this karmic. That's not my type. She not my type. He not my type. I only like chocolate and natural. I don't like light-skinned girls. He ain't my type. I like tall men. I don't like no five foot four guys. Y'all, yeah, it was a little trouble in par <sighs> Why you why you act the way you act? Why are you on my bed interrupting my reading anyway, son? Hello. <sighs> I'm not playing with you, son. Stop it. Y'all, I love y'all very much. I hope you enjoyed the reading, even though the cards got jacked up because of this child here. Um, I kept it real tonight, and, and that's 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 what I like about myself. I, I, I'm a real person. Ain't no shame in my game. I love you all. I'll come back on tomorrow, Lord willing. Let me go turn my chicken over and give this child some attention. Look at him wagging his tail. That means he's up to no damn good. Look, 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 look. I love y'all. I wish y'all was over here. I wish I could have a meet and greet or a big party and we just meet in person and cut up. All right. I love you all. Uh, Hillary. I just heard Hillary. I heard Harvey again. Walden. W-A-L-D-E-N. Prescott. I just heard Prescott. Okay. Uh, something Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Ivan. I-V-A-N. And Alfonso and Russell. These names been flying out all day. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoy the entertainment and the soul bearing and the reading. And y'all have a wonderful night. Sleep tight. God got you. Okay. I love you all. We'll talk tomorrow.